I think that there's a couple of things. I think above all else, it's factual. So I think if you're not, I have this quote that I found recently, if you're not fact checking, it's not journalism. Um, in health reporting, this makes this means making sure that your reporting is rooted in good scientific or scientific or medical evidence. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about how to access that later. Good health journalism takes complicated information and simplifies it to meet the audience. So, um, and I think this is, this is what a lot of us have been doing during COVID is breaking down that science. Um, it empowers communities to take steps to make better decisions about their health. So for instance, when you um, read health reporting on, for instance, you know, the amount of sugar in, in, in soft drinks or cool drinks, um, that's something that's building awareness about a problem and helping hopefully to help make consumers, allow consumers to make better decisions. It holds power to account. This is sometimes called accountability reporting. And then I think also more so than any other B, health reporting really deals with what a professor of mine once said was universal truths. So these are how we see and experience love, life, and death. These are the fundamental sort of DNA of the human experience, right? So universal truths are something that, that transcend cultures and languages, and they can be powerful lenses through which to see your stories because they resonate with, with everyone, really. And I wanted to talk a little bit about, start this presentation talking a little bit about how health is structured in South Africa. 